the bill of lading act section one short title this act may be cited as the bill of lading act section two transfer of rights and liabilities every consignee of goods named in a bill of lading and every endorsee of a bill of lading to whom property in the goods therein mentioned shall pass upon by reason of such consignment or endorsement shall have transferred to and vested in him all rights or suit and be subject to the same liabilities in respect of such goods or if the contract contained in the bill of lading has been made with himself all right section three preservation of rights nothing herein contained shall prejudice or affect any right of stoppage in transito or any right to claim freight against the original shipper or owner or any liability of the consignee or endorsee by reason or in consequence of his being such consignee or endorsee or of his receipt of the goods by reason or in consequence of such consignment or endorsement so nothing herein contained shall prejudice or affect any right of stoppage in transit or any rights to claim freight against the original shipper all right section 4 bill of lading conclusive evidence in certain cases every bill of lading in the hands of a consignee or endorsee for valuable consideration representing goods to have been shipped or broad a vessel shall be conclusive evidence of such shipment as against the master or other person signing the same notwithstanding that such goods are part thereof may not have been so shipped unless such holder of the bill of lading shall have had actual notice at the time of receiving the same that the goods have not been in fact laden on board i had looked for the meaning of lading and it means to load a vessel such as a ship all right so let's look at three again nothing herein shall prejudice or affect any right of stoppage or any right to claim freight against the original ship or our owner i guess whoever is to receive it they have the right to stop or cancel the contract to ship i guess maybe that's what it means or any right to claim freight against the original ship or owner or any liability of the consignee or endorsee all right so whatever they are owed if somebody ships something to you they have a right to receive money from you so nothing in this act will affect their right to claim such money it seems like that is what this is saying all right to to claim freight against the original shipper okay question not question section four bill of lading conclusive evidence in certain cases 
every bill of lading in the hands of a consignee or endorsee for valuable consideration representing goods to have been shipped on board a vessel shall be conclusive evidence of such shipment as against the master or other person signing the same. So the master, that might be the master or captain of the vessel, notwithstanding that such goods or some part thereof may not have been so shipped. So something is missing. Unless such holder of the bill of lading shall have had actual notice at the time of receiving the same that the good has not been in fact laden on board. So every bill of lading in the hands of a consignee for valuable consideration representing goods to have been shipped shall be conclusive evidence of such shipment. Oh, so if you are supposed to receive goods and something is missing then you can claim it against the shipping company or the captain of the vessel or other person signing a document that it had actually been shipped but if you had noticed that such a part is missing So here, unless such holder of the bill of lading shall have had actual notice at the time of receiving the same, receiving the same that the good had not been in fact. Okay, so if there is evidence that that part of the good was not on the ship, then you wouldn't be able to claim against the shipping company. All right. Provided that the master or other person so signing may exonerate himself in respect of such misrepresentation by showing that it was caused without any default on his part and wholly by the fraud of the shipper or the holder. So if the person operating the ship or the boat or any vessel can show that they are not at fault why some goods are missing but due to the fraud of the shipper the person putting the box on the ship telling you that all the parts are there but they lied or the holder or some person under whom the holder claims Right, so in that case, it was not the fault of the person operating the vessel. Now, I guess it's not only, uh, it not only applies to vessels, it can apply to courier companies or delivery companies. The Bill of Leading Act.